Greetings. Flowgrade is a way of guiding and assessing student learning in a flowchart format. The boxes represent observable criteria with relatively simple or easy learning at the top of the page and more difficult or more complex things further down the page. Connections indicate what a student may need to learn first or what they can learn next, so students are able to follow their own learning process. I currently use a web app called Gliffy to construct my learning flowcharts. It makes it easy to organise criteria and it is easy to colour code or add hyperlinks. Once I've exported an SVG file from Gliffy, I can use Flowgrade to assess the student work. I enter the class name, load the file, name the task and enter the student's name. This is my first time with this class so I had to press the new button, but normally I would just be able to select them from the autocomplete list. Then, as I look through and comment on the student's work, I indicate what evidence the student has shown for each criterion. One touch highlights a short, high up pink line, which represents that they are just beginning to learn this or they have not had much success. Another touch highlights green, moderate length in the middle of the box, indicating that they've partly learned it or get it right half of the time. A third touch highlights a long blue line at the bottom of the box and shows proficiency in this criterion. I could also choose to leave any of the boxes blank if that criterion is not assessed in this task or if I can't decide what evidence they've shown. If you are a student, you can visit the Haiku page for this topic and click the learning flowchart link that I've supplied. This takes you to a page with criteria highlighted for each task you have had assessed for this flowchart. You can emphasize the specific assessment by clicking the labels above the flowchart. Feedback here is intended to personalize learning. You can identify areas you need to work on, then click the box to go to a practice page or an animation or any other information I think might help. Then, when you're ready, return to the learning flowchart and decide what to learn next.